is only war. What is up, gents? 40k Dirtbags here. We're reviewing the Death Guard today. First off, thanks for clicking on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, definitely hit the subscribe and follow so that way you guys can see the videos actually pop up for you guys. But if you guys are playing Death Guard and you're excited for Death Guard like I am, because uh, you can see right above my head, uh, this is one of the main factions that we play on this channel. Uh, so there's a lot of content to go review. But first look at, I'm just going to say out front, what the fuck? Uh, and then we'll get into the more deep dive uh, of Death Guard. But they are one of the coolest armies, I think, in the game. They are the Mortarian with, with like, we have our own Primarch. Uh, they didn't show him today, which I was kind of upset. But uh, everything else, let's let's just get into it. So uh, this whole video is going to be uh, just reading over the Games Workshop uh, page. <clears throat> and then after that, I'll kind of give you my insight on, on what I think you can do with this. I, I'm, I'm usually positive with all these videos because I don't want to take a small bit of what they show us and just be like, all right, this, this army's unplayable, uh, which is what most content providers will, will give you. Uh, but I'm gonna go over like what you can start planning for and kind of getting ready for. So that way when 10th edition does come out, you kind of know exactly what to do. But there's so many units that they didn't preview in this, so we have no idea. Uh, this is one of the most keyword faction reviews that I've seen so far, uh, knowing like all the new rules, because there's a lot of new rules that came out, like lethal hits, sustained hits, uh, all that shit. <clears throat> so I have to like, ask my Discord, like, hey, what does this mean? Because I'm still new with all these new keywords. So starting off right at the top, uh, Nurgle's Gift, it's an aura, uh, so it's basically the same thing. Everything within uh, three inches, six inches, nine inches, and I think that's it. Like, I don't think it extends past that which I think that was the most last time because you could extend it to 12, like max 12, uh, but nine inches on round three, minus one toughness characteristic. So uh, that stayed the same and that's about it. So everybody's toughness went up, but now it's gonna go down one more. So somebody posted Discord, it was like, all right, great, your toughness 14 uh, tank now goes down to toughness 13. I still win on sixes. So it's like, what the, what the fuck, right? Uh, so that's about it. Nothing really crazy. They say a whole bunch of jargon in between, but spread the sickness is cool. Uh, that's definitely a an addition uh, to the Death Guard because now if we control an objective marker at the end of your command phase uh, and the Death Guard unit from your army is within range of that objective marker, that objective marker is said to be infected and remains under your control even if there are no models uh, within range of it. So here's a couple things you can do with this. If you control the objective marker at the end of your command phase, okay, so maybe we can still bring zombies back, whatever it may be, but at the end of the command phase, that objective, if you control it, uh, is now spread the sickness, right? So now you have uh, the aura <clears throat> and it stays under your control. So that would then, if there are enemy units on the objective that are you know further away, uh, they'll get that aura. Uh, or if it's like turn two or three, that nine inch bubble of minus one toughness is gonna be spread out even more. So let's say you have one guy in the objective and then that objective is you know nine inches away from another enemy tank or unit, then that whole nine inch bubble is everybody's minus one to one. So it's gonna be able to extend your ores a little bit more. Uh, but what's cool is you, you now control and then can get off the objective to go do whatever the hell you wanna do. Uh, hopefully this works like on your home objective so that we can just camp, camp stuff in the back and not really have to worry about being on the objective. Uh, and then the side objectives, you know, I'm just thinking about the missions that we have currently. The side objectives, you can then leave them uh, and then go do other shit. So that is definitely gonna help out, especially with how slow uh, we are. So that is the, uh, I guess, one of the perks of the new edition with this. Let's go to the Blightwood Terminators. They released these guys. I didn't know if they were gonna do these guys or the uh, Death Shroud Terminators, but the Blight Lords, I had been running them a lot lately. I, I now have 20 of them. Uh, they're all kitted out you know, with all free weapons. They changed uh, Bubonic Blade now. So the Bubonic Blade, it's not like Axe or Blade or, you know, I think those are the only two, Axe or Blade. Now it's literally just Blade. Uh, AP is only two. All the APs kind of got reduced, so, uh, 
it was higher, I think it was a three, now it's down to a two, and it's one damage still, so they didn't increase that at all. Strength five, so most of the infantry that we're gonna be wounding, even Terminators, Terminators on the enemy team are toughness five, uh, we're then gonna be wounding, bring them down to toughness four, so we're gonna be able to hopefully wound them on threes. This is the infantry killing army, I've noticed. Like, everything in this review is just killing fucking infantry. <laughs> so, tanks, fuck. Infantry, dead, right? So that's gonna be what's going on with the uh, Blight Lords, or Death Guard in general. They did reduce our, our movement. We're already slow as fuck. Uh, we now are even slower. So uh, we're speed four, but toughness six. So we got plus one toughness, minus one speed, uh, still three wounds, two up save, six up uh, leadership, and one for the obsec. They can still deep strike. Uh, they get the aura. And this is a huge nerf to the army. Uh, each time a model in the unit makes a range attack, if it targets the closest eligible enemy unit, reroll the wound roll of one. So we don't know if there's going to be any reroll hits. Like we don't know what Mortarian's going to do or anything like that. But rerolling the wound roll of one, if I'm shooting, not even in melee, if I'm shooting the enemy unit, I get to reroll. It's like a, a blight weapon or a plague weapon. Plague weapon used to work with melee and shooting. Now it's just shooting. It's basically that one strat where you can turn your bolters into plague weapons. Uh, last edition. Now it's just all right. I have rerolls of one with shooting, but it has to be the closest enemy unit, uh, which sometimes you don't want to do because you want to charge that unit. So if I'm shooting the unit that I'm charging, they're going to be able to take shit away. So yeah, uh, closest eligible enemy unit. Um, so we don't know if it's going to be like line of sight blocking, like if I, if I can see that unit over there because they're the closest eligible target, that'll be that. It's kind of like the Black Legion right now where I can see that unit so I get plus one to hit. Now with this, if I see that unit because they're the closest eligible target, I get to reroll ones to wound. So it's like, so okay. Uh, and then you hopefully you can charge through the row and get the closest unit that you're actually trying to charge. They have a four built in uh, in Von Save, which is still really good. And then let's go over the weapons. So Blight Launcher, uh, lost an AP. Um, hitting on three is two attacks. Everything stay the same. So just lost one AP. Uh, gain lethal hits. So lethal hits are auto, auto wounding, I believe, on sixes. So it's going to be a lot of auto wounding. So lethal hits, auto wounding on sixes. Uh, combi weapon. So there's no combi bolter, combi plasma, anything like that. So this just says... Anti-infantry 4 plus, meaning that you wound them on a 4 plus. Again, let me know in the comments below. Because <laughs> again, all these fucking things are all different. Uh, devastating wounds. So turning it into a mortal wound. Uh, so this one damage can then be a mortal wound if you uh, wound on a 4 plus against infantry. So that's what I'm saying. Like this whole thing is just killing infantry. So a lot of mortal wounds uh, if you're shooting this. Rapid fire one, so you'll be able to get two shots uh, if you're within 12 inch range. We don't know if uh, Terminators are still gonna have the full rapid fire. So, I mean, commie bolters, everybody being able to shoot, you know, two shots 24 inches away, uh, hitting on a four plus, but also wounding on a four plus against infantry uh, and devastating wounds. So, might be good with the uh, commie weapons. The plague commie bolters, lethal hits, uh rapid fire two and yeah so it's it's basically like four shots like a regular rapid fire commie bolter uh hitting on threes strength four ap zero one damage so lethal hits auto winning on sixes uh same thing cool okay and then the plague spear is pretty cool uh auto wounding infantry on two plus uh, and ignoring cover. So I feel like there's going to be, if I could bring, you know, as many plague spears as I possibly can in this lit, in this unit, they didn't actually give us like they did with the, uh, legionnaires where they showed like how much you can have in each unit, which kind of sucks. So we don't know what they can have. If I can just have all plague spears in a unit, uh, I will then go buy fucking 12 plague spears on Etsy and throw them on my units, but range 12. Uh, so they deep strike, they can shoot 12 inches, uh, and then D six attacks, uh, ignoring cover, auto hitting, strength five, minus one, uh, one damage. So you won't be able to deep strike and still be in contagion range, which, you know, I don't know if you'll be able to extend it, who the hell knows, but you'll also be able to uh, reroll the wound rolls of one. Uh, so hitting on, wounding on twos, auto wounding on twos, 
anti-infantry two plus. So I, I think that's what it means. I think it just means auto wounding on two plus and then rerolling the wounds of one. Uh, so that's that's actually pretty good. So you're gonna be able to do a shit ton of anti-infantry uh, plague spheres, repro auto cutting devastating wounds. Uh, so being able to do some mortal wounds with your one damage uh, auto cutting sustain hits by one, uh, 36 inch range, four attacks, strength seven minus one. So I. Is the Reaper auto cutting for chaos three damage, or am I thinking of like an auto another auto cannon? Because I think we just reviewed chaos and somebody had like a three damage gun. Was that this one? Because if that is, that's some bullshit. Why do we only get damage one? They get damage three. Bullshit. All right. So devastating wounds. Um, sixes to wound. Do mortal wounds. Uh, we roll wounds of one, and sustain hits one. Dude, I'm sorry. I don't. I fucking. These so many keywords that they just threw at us like so fast. Uh, so we have to memorize what sustain hits is, what uh, devastating wounds are, and what lethal hits are. And then we got to go into like the uh, plague caster and learn uh, psychic torrent, hazardous, uh, lethal hits, psychic, all that shit. So they released the malignant plague caster, which most of us run one to two of them anyway. Uh, but this guy doesn't look bad. Uh, he's going to be a leader, so you can put him in any of your units. He uh, moves five, so he moves faster than our Terminators. Uh, that means most of our Plague Marines are probably going to move five. Uh, toughness five, three up save, four wounds, leadership six, one uh, um, OPSEC. Then he's got a Plague Bolt Pistol, uh, lethal hits, 12 inch range, one attack, three up, four, one, and then Plague Fire. These are cool. So this one looks really cool. Plague Win, Focus Witch Fire, 12 inch uh, shot but d6 plus three attacks so it's four to nine attacks uh auto yeah auto hitting hazardous which i think you get hurt if you roll a certain dice strength six minus two d3 damage each that is that is that seems deadly that's that's deadlier than most of the fucking weapon up here um yeah, so that, that's a psychic flamethrower, basically. Uh, auto auto hitting strength six minus two D3 damage each. That's pretty fucking good. So you're probably gonna be doing that almost every single time. But again, if, if it's hazardous and you roll one to wound, for example, uh, you might just kill yourself. <laughs> so it's like, all right, great. I rolled four fucking ones. My guy just blows up. Uh, so that that's cool, but again, it's it's whatever. You get plus one, you get plus two more strength. You get plus one AP, uh, and then an extra three fucking shots if you do the the huge one. It's uh, only range twelve, so you got to get you know in close to somebody. Corrupted staff is, is a psychic. So this is what I'm curious about. Um, Great knights as well. So are their melee weapons going to be psychic? Uh, their lethal hits. So I guess they auto wound on sixes and they're psychic so is gray knights going to have something similar <coughs> are the gray knights going to have damage two damage d3 are all their weapons just going to be a psychic weapon like the swords go away these halberds go away like we don't fucking know but hitting on a three plus uh four attacks uh strength six ap1 d3 damage psychic i don't know why psychic's there um i don't know if you get anything special for being psychic don't fucking know. All right. Uh, he gets Gift of Contagion, which is pretty cool. This is, this is the best one about it. In your shooting phase, you can select one enemy unit within 18 inches and visible to the Psyker. Roll D6. On one, let's say you suffer D3 mortals. Oh, God, that's so bad. Uh, and on two plus, uh, that until the start of the next shooting phase, each time the model on that enemy unit makes a melee attack, subtract one from the wound roll. So this guy is going to be huge when it comes to trying to make your guys survive a little bit longer because everybody's saying that we lost the uh, uh, disgustingly resilient, which is huge. If we if we don't have the minus one to wound or minus one damage anymore, these guys are going to be as easy to kill as everybody else. The strength six or toughness six is not going to be a huge fucking difference uh, with all the strength, strength 20 fucking weapons coming into 10th edition. So 
this is going to be the biggest uh, thing to add on. So bringing one to two, maybe even three of these fuckers, uh, I think two of them is going to be able to, you know, target a unit that's getting close to yours. Your, you know, is going to charge. It's minus one to wound. Uh, that's going to be huge to try and make us, you know, survive a little bit longer. So this guy's going to be needed. Um, yeah. So it's it's a psychic power. It's not minus one to hit anymore. So they got rid of that. But uh, the minus one to wound is actually better than minus one to hit. So that's cool. Uh, the fallout psychic is in your shooting phase after this model has shot. So basically anything that you hit, uh, if one or more of those attacks made, uh, scored a wound against an enemy infantry unit. So again, infantry, uh, until the start of your next turn, subtract two from the unit, some move characteristic and subtract two from the events, uh, and charge rolls made for that unit. So let's, let's, we're 12 inches away. We shoot. They're now minus two to move and charge. So let's say they're moving six. So now they go down to movement four. They're about eight inches away. Then they need a uh, eight inch charge, but you're minus two. So you need a 10 inch charge. So that's actually, that's pretty good. Um, if you know you have like a super crazy melee infantry fucking coming at you. Uh, I mean, if they're moving 10 inches, they move eight. So then they're only four inches away, so they need a six. So anything like normal movement, like six to seven, uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be great. Uh, it's only infantry, so it doesn't work against tanks or monsters. Monsters would be fucking awesome, but uh, that's gonna be cool because you're gonna be able to hit something, and then they're gonna take a while to get to you. So that that's cool. Combing these two uh, with this guy is gonna be he's gonna be a good leader. Uh, so he's gonna help out a little bit. Yeah, I wish they just gave us Mortarian. That would that would would have been really cool. Uh, or Mortarian's weapon. Like they didn't even give us fucking that. They did give us the uh, plague burst mortar though. So the plague burst mortar uh, looks okay. Uh, more hits than before. So getting a minimum of four shots on this plague burst crawler is, is a lot better <laughs> than than you rolling that one or two or even three uh, before range forty eight. So I think it's farther now. I don't know if it was forty eight before or thirty six. No, I think the entropy was 36. Yeah. So the plague burst is still 48. Blast. Uh, so I think it's D6 plus three. And then blast, if you get, you know, I think it's six or more, you get plus one. If it's 11, you get plus two instead of being in half. I think that's what they changed with blast is either plus one or plus two. Indirect fire, so you don't need to see anybody. But I believe you are still minus one to hit. Uh, and then they get cover saves, lethal hits. So automatically wounding on a six. Minus one AP, so it did lose an AP. Uh, still kept the two damage, but strength eight, it stayed the same. So cool. <laughs> I guess the, the, the addition to this is if you're hitting an infantry, great, more infantry. Infantry unit, that infantry must take a battle shock test. So my question is with this, you're going to be hitting on fours, right? Because it's not a heavy weapon. It's just a blast weapon. Uh, so if you can see, you know, a couple different targets, you can shoot them. I wonder if you can just split all of the shots. All right, I'm going to throw one into there or two into there, two into there, two into there, and two into there. Uh, so that way you need fours to hit. If you hit them, each unit that you're hitting is taking the battle shock test. So that's going to be cool. Just being able to do auto battle shocks. If you're hitting them, I don't know if we're, or if we're going to be able to get plus one to hit with this guy, if we can boost them, because again, they got rid of core. So if there's any way to boost uh, the hits, uh, having a couple of these guys, like let's say we have two or three of these, I'm thinking like having a parking lot in the back, right? So if you have three of these plague burst mortars in the backfield, um, they're blocking out your backfield, whatever it may be. Uh, and then they're just launching fucking mortars everywhere, four shots each. So you go like, you know, two, two, let's say you get, a three, you get six shots. So two, two, two on that mortar, two, two, two on that mortar, two, two, two on that mortar. And then they're just, they have to do a battle shock test on everybody. And again, it's only fucking infantry. So it doesn't work on like monsters, um, tanks, any of that stuff, but the, uh, infantry, we're going to be really good at killing. <laughs> so, uh, in the shooting phase at this model shot, if one or more of those attacks made with a play burst mortar score to hit, that's it. Uh, against the enemy infantry unit, the infantry unit must take a battle shock test. So that's cool. That's that's a good little addition. That's a little little tactic that you, if you want to be doing, not like launching all of them into one unit. You basically you just want to fuck them up uh, and then have them do a battle shock test. So on the top of its impressive range, and it, they're trying to like talk up Death Guard so much, but it's like 
if you'd get rid of the minus one damage for us, we're just so we're just like everybody else. Like we're slower now. So it's not even like we're everybody else. We're literally just slower walking across the table. Uh followed by spore land shock waves. May cause infantry, may cause unit infantry units to take battle shock tests. Strategies. Alright, so stratagem. Uh, we have a one CP stratagem in the fight phase. One death guard unit from your army that has not been selected to fight this turn uh, effect until the end of that phase weapons equipped by models in this unit have the sustain hits one ability while units within range of an effective <laughs> so we gain objective markers within range of effective objective marker you control so we gain controlling objective markers and we're getting benefits of walking off the objective markers, but they still want us to stay on the objective marker. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? Uh, then you get sustained hits too. So, um, exploding sixes on, on, on two exploding sixes. So cool. Uh, yeah. So it's 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 okay. Uh, it's one CP, so it's not that bad. Just exploding sixes. We don't know if we have any re rerolls. If we're gonna have a, a lord or, or a demon prince be able to reroll ones, or just hey, here's full rerolls. That might help out. So if if you give a, a unit full rerolls, then you know exploding sixes, uh, two hits is gonna be pretty big actually. Tying that in with the. Flail of Corruption, I don't think we went over that yet. But Strength 5, minus 1, 2 damage, uh, 6 attacks. So hopefully you'll be able to get 12 attacks, 12 hitting on, you know, 3s, exploding 6s, but 2 hit. Like, that racks up really quick, especially with the rerolls. Uh, and then the Devastating Wounds. No, so our Blades, they're just lethal hits, so they're not even Devastating <laughs> devastating hits. So no, no Mortal Wounds for us. But the Auto Wounding, I guess, on 6s, so... Uh, uh, hitting on sixes, exploding sixes, do those get turned into auto hits as well? Or do I have to roll a wound on them? Like, who, who the fuck knows? Uh, but that's going to be a, a shit ton of extra hits. The sixes turn into auto wounds, and then exploding sixes, and then turning into wounds, rerolling ones to wound. Uh, just kidding, it's not really rerolling ones to wound because it's only for shooting. Like, what the fuck? So, I'm going to rank Death Guard as a we don't know yet. Uh, it's a cool start with the spread the sickness. Uh, it's a cool start with the uh, psychic thing, but you're probably going to kill yourself. His uh, special abilities over here is pretty cool. And the battle shock for the plague burst crawler is cool. This is meh. Because they're rewarding us for getting off the objectives, but we have to be on the objective to do shit. And we have to fucking control it. So, not even control, but while a unit is within range of an effective objective marker, you only affect it if you are controlling it at the end of your command phase. So, what the fuck? Um, yeah, cool. So, uh, I would give this a, a okay. Uh, again, I'm not going to go too hardcore intense with this because it's still brand new. There's so many shit that you have to memorize like before it was just like all right it's a plague weapon i get reroll once now i have to remember is it anti-infantry two is it anti-infantry four is it devastating wounds is it lethal hits is it um what else the uh psychic is it torrid is it hazardous uh is it indirect is it like there's they're trying to make it easier and they're just throwing more fucking uh keywords into it like every weapon is different lethal hit anti-infantry four devastating rapid fire one Lethal hit, rapid fire two. Anti infantry two, endure cover turret. Devastating wounds, sustain hits one. What the fuck? All right, I'm done. Um, so let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Uh, I, of course, I'm gonna run it because it's Death Guard. Like they're fucking cool. Um, we don't know any of the extra characters like Tallyman, the the the, the plague spewer dude, Typhus. Hopefully, Typhus is better this edition. Uh, the Ballast Putrefier, which was my favorite dude. The Death Shroud Terminators with the, with the sights. Like, still so much to come out that we don't know yet. Now, all these things, um, I guess they're speed five on the Plague Marines. So maybe Plague Marines are going to have all the same shit, but just faster. They're not going to have a four-up save. 
but are they going to have the blistering fusillade? Don't know. So let me know. Appreciate Patreons. Thank you for supporting me. If you guys are new to the channel, you guys want to support the, the stuff, go ahead over the Patreons. We are still selling dice. Uh, they're $1 each over on Discord. They're fucking sick. They got the Dirtbag logo on them uh, and also all the stickers. We just ordered a shit ton more stickers. Uh, they went really fast when we first ordered them, so we ordered a shit ton more. Uh, and also the objective markers. They are really cool on 3D6 Wargaming. Go click on the link below and check those out. If you guys are interested, you are going to need the objective marker circles now because supposedly you aren't you're not able to stand on them so you need to kind of know where the objectives are so you're not going to just need the six inch you know bubble it's going to be the objective marker so our objective markers have the dotted lines in the center uh so definitely go ahead over and order those if you guys are interested in that so appreciate you guys thanks for clicking on the video uh and we'll see you in another video soon i cannot wait for gray knights to come out so we can really see what the fuck they did with that shit so appreciate it good luck and we'll see you in another video soon